what's up guys, it's John with Dip Fanatics. In today's video, we're going to be talking about flow coding. Why is flow coding so important? What is flow coding? And how can it save you a ton of time? So we have gloss black this car up, getting it ready for a chrome paint job. Last time with the Mercedes, we actually sanded, compounded, and polished the car getting ready for the chrome. But we wanted to do a video to show you if you are not an experienced detailer and have really no skill in that area right now, how can you go about getting an ultra flat, super smooth, very reflective looking chrome paint job or even just a standard paint job? Getting a flat surface kind of relates to any paint job. It doesn't have to be just the chrome coatings. It can be a gloss black car, it can be a gloss white car, it can be a, a really nice reflective pearl finish. It really doesn't matter. Flow coating comes in to all of those. So what is flow coating? First, let's dive into that. A quick definition of what flow coating is, is when you've painted the car, you then sand the car once the gloss or whatever has dried, and then you reapply another layer of gloss on top after you've removed all the orange peel with sanding. So what it does is it cuts back on hours and hours of detailing and very fine-tuned work to get your car to look like a showroom car or even just a really, really nice car. For example, with detailing, you don't have to remove all of the orange peel. Sometimes it's just about minimizing some of the orange peel to give a very factory OEM look. So flow coating is going to save you a ton of time. So with this car here, we've already started knocking it out for video purposes. We are experts at flow coating. This is what we do to practically every car that we do is flow coat because you cut down from, you know, even a good detailer on a fresh paint job to remove all the orange peel, compound and polish it. You're looking at a couple day project, whereas this takes us about an hour and a half to two hours max, depending on the car and all the edge work to sand it. And then we reapply another layer of gloss. Reapplying gloss, you're talking about one wet coat, it's very fast. So you're talking about maybe three hours of total work to finish the car and give it a nice glass finish as compared to hours and hours and hours of detailing. So we always prefer this. So we've already started the car for video's sake. We're not gonna do an hour and a half video to show you guys you know, how to do the entire car. But we have a nice panel right here that we figured we'd start on and show you right here how to do it. Now we're going to be doing it by hand. This panel here. A lot of this stuff we've already hit with a sander. The reason we're doing this by hand is because we realize that some people might not have a sander and we don't want you to think, well, since I don't have a sander, I can't do the flow coat process. That's not accurate. You can do it by hand or with sander. You're going to save a lot of time with a sander, but it can still be done with hand. We're going to hit this with 600 grit to remove all the orange peel. Now, if you've ever done detailing, you might think, you're going to hit it with 600 grit. What about all those, the fine scratches that you put in here from hitting it with the sandpaper? Well, that's the beauty of flow coating, is that the gloss is going to fill in any micro scratches that you put in there from the sandpaper. See, normally with detailing, you're talking about working your way up, sandpaper to sandpaper, getting finer grit. That's where a lot of your time comes in. If we were doing this a detail job, we'd probably start off with 1,000 grit sandpaper, work our way around the car, then hit it with 1,500, then hit it with 2,000, then 3,000, followed by 5,000. You're talking about hours alone just in sanding because if you try to rush, what happens is you don't remove the scratches from the more coarse sandpaper. So when we hit this with 1,000 grit, if we were to go and hit it with 1,500 grit, if we were to try to move too quickly around the car and not spend the proper amount of time, well, we wouldn't remove the 1,000 grit scratches. So what happens is when you go to compound it, you realize, okay, well, I should have spent more time sanding. It already took forever. Now I have to go back and sand out some of these minor scratches just to get it to come back to normal. We hate doing the detail work, not because we're not very good at it. We're very good at detailing. But it's, this saves so much more time. In a paint shop, when you're trying to move cars out, or if you're a weekend warrior who needs your car back before the end of the weekend to go to work on Monday, you're going to save a lot more time doing this than you are going to if you were to detail the car. You're looking at spending a few hours each night 
it's going to probably accumulate if you have a full-time job to probably a week's project to detail the car. So I'm going to grab some 600 grit sandpaper. We're going to start hitting this panel. I'm going to show you how easy it really is. So here we go. All right, now I have my 600 grit sandpaper. I love using the stickets, believe it or not, for doing it by hand. And the reason why is because when I put it on my pad and loop it around, it actually sticks to the back of it. So it makes it really easy to maneuver. Uh, but any sandpaper will be fine uh, in terms of sanding this down. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to hit this dry. So this was painted yesterday. So for some of you thinking you're going to hit it with 600 grit sandpaper and you're going to do it dry the day after paint, yes, we formulated our gloss and our top coats to cure very quickly. When I mean cure, there's a difference. Fully cured means it's fully baked out. It's had probably 30 to 60 days, some paints 90 days to fully bake to the car. Ours gets hard cured in about 24 hours. Now fully cured, yeah, it's gonna take probably three to four weeks for it to fully cure. But when I mean cured, I mean really, we can start attacking this. We can start being a little bit rough on it. We can technically, you know, buff and polish this car out. We did it in one of our other videos right away. We can take it to a car wash right away. 24 hours later. So we're going to start knocking this out. 600 grit sandpaper and I'm going to show you kind of how to do this. One thing I will tell you is this. If you are using a sander, this is one of your first times ever doing a flow coat or it's your first time altogether, stay away from your edges. You're using 600 grit sandpaper. If we were to try to hit around this well here with our sander, that would be a ridiculous decision. That would not be smart because it's going to be very easy to burn through. 600 is, is pretty coarse in terms of removing orange peel. So use my hand around your edge works. Everything around here, close to these edges here, around the door handles, we will all hit by hand. But you're going to be really shocked at how quickly it removes the orange peel using 600 grit. So don't think, well, around all my edges, it's going to take forever. It's not. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this whole panel here by hand and show you how quickly it goes. So let's get started. Have it super flat against the panel here, working on my edges. That's another thing I like about doing some of the parts here by hand, is because you can really focus on not overlapping from here to the hood. And that's very important. So I've just started doing this. I've hit just this area here. And I can already see, that's why I like doing it dry too. You, it's a lot easier to see the orange peel when you do it dry. When it's wet, when it's wet, what ends up happening is you hit it, you wipe it off, let it dry for a second, and then you gotta see your orange peel, get it wet again, hit it again, things like that. But now we're gonna grab a rag, wipe it off, and see what it looks like. All right, so I got my rag here, I wipe it off, and I mean, it's just super flat. I mean, that, that's 95% orange peel removed. I mean, very little spots where it still has orange peel on there. Now what we will do is, once we've hit it, the entire car, we'll actually grab some thousand grit sandpaper and we'll go around and we'll look for spots where we can still see a hint of orange peel. We'll use thousand grit to hit that. The reason we do that is because since we're attacking this with 600 grit, very coarse sandpaper for removing orange peel, we do not want to burn through to the base coat. Once you take off some of the top coat with the 600 grit sandpaper, you have to realize you're removing some of the thickness. You're removing the mill buildup. It's getting much thinner. So be careful once you start removing orange peel. Don't go nuts. Just watch it every so often, wipe it off, look at it, see how it looks, and then just keep going from there. All right, so we've spent a total of seven minutes on this panel here, and it's 95% done. The next step, be for us to take thousand grit, go around, look for any spots that maybe have a little bit more orange peel, remove them real fast. That we will do wet because like I said, you're digging in at that point. You don't want to go past the gloss, but that's how simple it is. Seven minutes to do this here. So if you're talking about going all the way around the car, especially on flat surfaces like this on your doors, your hoods, we're using sanders. Those go much faster. We probably do each door maybe five minutes, the flat part. Maybe takes about two to three minutes, maybe, to hit this top area here. It's very fast. Like I said, it takes us about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours to do the entire car. 
But like I said, once we're finished with the car, the next step is going to be to re-degrease it, re-alcohol bath it, and then we're going to slap another layer of gloss on top of it. Now what you'll notice is when you put that last layer of gloss on, it is going to be so flat and smooth. So one big thing is this, you're creating a lot of dust when you sand. Make sure that when you go to put your final layer of gloss on, here's what we like to do. First, spend a little bit of extra time making sure you remove all the dust off the car. It's very important. We will even wipe off some of the edges of the masking paper, you know, get, our, get a rag wet and wipe them off without touching the surface just to kind of get everything a little bit damp and to get the edges away so that we're not blowing dust all over. The second thing is this, we'll actually take just a little pump sprayer, fill it with water, and we'll wet the floor around it so that nothing comes up and lands back on the paint job. Because this is the final step, you know, once you gloss the car this final time, you're going to have the finish you want. It's going to be beautiful, it's going to be denibbed, it's going to be super flat, little to absolutely no orange peel. It really just depends on how much time you spend sanding. So if you want it to have no orange peel, you got to spend just a hair more, maybe 30 minutes more sanding the car, removing all the orange peel. If you want a very factory or even a little bit less factory orange peel on the car, it really just comes down to working as you go and stopping and looking at it and saying, is this what I want? Is it not what I want? If it's not, keep going. If you like it, stop, you're good. Uh, but another thing too is make sure that the entire car looks the same. I don't want this one to have a little bit of orange peel and that panel over here, the same front fender, I don't want that one to have no orange peel. They might look a little bit off. So I'll walk around and say, do all the panels look identical? All right, so we finished doing our flow coat and I wanted to kind of give you an example of the clarity. As you can see here, I mean, it's like glass. It is absolutely glass. I mean, it is, it is so reflective and shiny that it's ridiculous. This is what a flow coat will do. A flow coat is going to give you this. You're going to have zero orange peel on the car. Zero. There's no orange peel on this car. This car is a sheet of glass. It looks amazing, the clarity. I mean, there's just no orange peel. There's just none. I mean, this thing is like a sheet of glass. It's literally glass. So now we're going to slap some chrome on this. Extremely reflective, awesome, awesome finish just by using the flow coat. So stay tuned and we will see you on the next one. Wow, that's just so awesome.